And Arnold, with the, you being the holdout or the retained defensive coach, mm -hmm. are you running the defense? Are you do, doing the coordinating? Kind of tell what is your role this, with this um, prep? I have a bigger role than than a normal, but um, collectively, um, Kalani, myself, um, the analysts, the, the GAs, we're all kind of putting part in it um, to to come together with the whole game plan. We used to be wearing your colored uh, polo in this game. You've worn the off color. I'll probably still be wearing that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what's this process like? I mean, you guys know it's a results-based business, but guys coming and going, this happens. Yeah, yeah. What's it like, you know, to um, go through these transitions? This one was a little different. Maybe just, um, you know, um, Lamb and, and, uh, and Toyaki kind of gave me my, my uh, start, should I say. So um, I've been with Lamb for the last 10 years, you know. Um, I've been with Toyaki for the last seven. Um, but there's there's no doubt. I'm 100% I'm confident that, Lamb was would take over that place and, and really get it going. So. Did any of the changes on this defensive staff surprise you at all? Um, yes, I mean it's, it's always it's always surprising. It's always surprising. Um, but at the end of the day, we all we all know that um, that's the business that that we are signed up for. Um, so it happens it happens to the best of them. Um, but again, th those are all my guys. There's there's no doubt. I'm 100 percent confident that they'll that they'll keep going. Did you know Jay Hill at all before he was? Um, we knew of each other um, because when Coach Lamb hired me at, at SUU, um, I, honestly, I almost went to Weber. So, um, so, so we knew we knew of each other. Um, I worked his camps before, like that, and we, of course, we played against each other um, multiple times, being at SUU and, and Weber. And um, that's a guy that I, I've always uh, looked at his defenses and and stuff like that, and a guy that can coach his butt off and. Definitely a football guy, and um, can't wait to get it going. What was kind of your first impression of him, the behind closed doors version, the guy meeting with the team and coming into meetings and checking into the office every day, that kind of thing? Mm -hmm. What was kind of your first impression of Jay? Um, everything I thought of. I mean, a no, a no nonsense guy, a guy that's going to um, demand the best out of out of out of everyone, um, players, coaches, um, staff, everybody. Um, and, and the guy that just loves loves football, loves to talk football, loves loves, loves to recruit, um, just loves every every aspect of it. Um, and that's why he was a successful head coach there, um, raising Weaver just sky high through the roof from from the ground up. So Kelly's a BYU alum like yourself. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much you knew of him mm -hmm. before he came back. Mm -hmm. Essentially, um, I knew of I knew of Kelly um, because I. Of course, I, I, I play with his big brother uh, Brady, Brady yeah. um, but I mean, I've been I've been watching Kelly for a while too. Like when I would come back and work camps here, Kelly would always have his guys and um, heck of a coach, heck of a coach um, at, at at Virginia did a, did a great job. And then um, this past year at at, at Boise, um, one of my one of my good friends is on staff there, and he was just telling me how how good of a coach uh, Kelly was. So. Um, Nothing but raving, raving reviews from uh, about about Kelly. General, uh, sometimes bowl games can be decided by the care factor. Uh, where, where would you maybe gauge just the, the commitment, the intensity that this defense is approaching this week? Um, everybody cares, man. They 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 want to kind of go out with a bang. Um, you know, we, we we got some stuff going in. Um, practice have, have have they've been very very uh, competitive. Um, so guys re really really care and. They want to put on a, a, a good show for Cougar Nation. And so. with uh, these bowl practices, young personnel get opportunities to kind of take a step forward. Mm -hmm. Maybe can you speak to some young personnel on the defensive side that have maybe taken a leap during these uh, bowl practices? Mm, yeah, yeah. Um, Isaiah Moa has been doing um, a great job as far as a D line, a, a D line st uh, standpoint. Um, Michael Wilson from the from the, the backers, um, Dean Jones and Preston Rex from the safeties. Um, Guys like Chris Jackson and um, Evan Johnson from the corners, from the corner aspect, uh, Maury, Maury Bamba. So um, it'll be a guys. It, there, there, there will be guys who uh, get a chance to kind of show what they can do. Is D'Lo going to be able to play? Um, we'll see. He practiced for the last few days, um, but um, maybe by Friday or Saturday, if, if he can, if he can practice and, and uh, it feels good, then yeah. How, how are you handling the schedule? With everything like transfer portal recruiting, yeah, bowl. yeah. How are you handling it? Yeah, man. Uh, sleepless nights. You just gotta, you gotta keep going. You know, we get um, after the bowl game and after signing day, we can, we can sleep then. But you know, um, until then, we just gotta kind of, kind of keep going. Uh, you, 
you might get a, a few a few days with uh, minimal hours of sleep, but um, but honestly, man, Kalani does a, a, a great job of, of giving us uh, time off here and there just to kind of recharge our batteries and um, and be ready to go for the the next day. So after it was announced that you had been retained, some former players or whatever got on social media and said, you know, BYU really needed to do that and ease him. You know, a valuable part of the whole shebang. Mm -hmm. um, how did that make you feel? And was there ever a doubt in your mind that you'd be staying here? Um, I mean, there's always a doubt when there's when there's change. I mean, okay. you never know um, who's going to come, who they're going to bring, and whatever the case may be. Um, and like I said, that's the that's the nature of, of this business. You know, um, we're here, we're gone. We're, uh, we might come back. You know, um, whatever the case may be. But um, it made me feel um, great. You know, um, that that the let the fans and players and um, appreciate it. everything, everything that I do here, um, and the and the the love is very very uh, mutual, you know, um, for the fans and, and and the players and stuff like that. Man, um, I wouldn't be here without them. So, um, thank you, players and, and, and Cougar Nation and, and everybody else for that. Back to the game. You, you're facing a team that likes to. To, to put up a lot of points and yeah. be aggressive offensively. Yeah, yeah. Your boys ready for it and embracing that challenge. Oh man, getting getting ready. We got a few more days to get ready. <laughs> uh, about about three or four more days. But uh, man, yeah, we're talking about a, a team that has ran ninety to a hundred plays a game and it's gonna throw it around and had games where they haven't put punted the ball all game. Um, has a stable of wideouts who can run and um, catch the ball and. Uh, Yak yards, yards after the catch, and running backs who can do it. Quarterback who threw for 3,500 yards. So um, it's definitely going to be a, um, a huge, a huge challenge. Um, but the players are, are are getting up for it. So we'll see. What's special about their quarterback, Mordecai? Like, what stands out about him? What really jumps off the page about him when you kind of look at him? Um, strong arm, um, timing as far as um, getting the ball out, um, seeing pressures coming, hanging in the pocket. Um, a tough kid who can run, run and throw the ball. So he kind of has it. He, 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 has, he has everything you need as far as um, the, the mindset, the football, IQ, make plays with his arms, make plays with his legs. So um, he, it's going it's, it's to be a tough one. How big of a break is not having their star receiver Rice playing in this game? Um, I mean, of course, it's, it's, it's a break because he's not playing. But at, but at the same time, and when you, when you see the stable of wideouts that they have, I mean, it's kind of like next man up type deal. I mean, um, watching the backups play is like, oh, okay, well, I mean, I know he's good, but this guy can go too. So um, still going to be a challenge whether whether he, he plays or not. Anything else? All right. Awesome. Great. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yep.